So here's another bifurcation diagram. It's not for the logistic equation. It's for a different differential equation. And I won't go into the origins of this because the point of this exercise is just to get practice reading a bifurcation diagram. So there were two questions posed. First is, what's the situation at um, h equals 5? So on the bifurcation diagram, we have some parameter that's changing. Here, I called it h again. And then here, this would be p for um, population. And a bifurcation diagram is just a collection of a whole lot of phase lines. So when h is 5, I can look for the phase line by just sort of ignoring everything except for what's going on at 5. And I could imagine taking, I won't, you know, a pair of scissors or something and slicing, cutting this little piece out like this, picking it up, moving it down here, and I would get the following phase line. So at at h equals 5, there is a single fixed point, that's the solid line, and it's stable because the arrows are pushing towards it. So at h equals 5, there's one fixed point and it's stable. What's going on somewhere over here at 10? Well, again, I could uh, imagine getting rid of the rest of it, just looking at a single slice. The um, bifurcation diagram is many, many, many phase lines all just sort of stack together in this direction. So I just go up to 10 and I grab the phase line for that at that particular value and there it would look something like this. There are two fixed points. Sorry, three fixed points, excuse me. So the middle fixed point here is unstable. Arrows push away from it. If you're at this fixed point and you move to either side, you don't return to this fixed point. You head to another fixed point. These two fixed points, those are stable. Arrows are pointing towards them. If you move a little bit away, you get pushed back. If you move a little bit away, you get pushed back. So this is the phase line associated with h equals 10. There are three fixed points, two stable ones, and then an unstable one in the middle. So these are bifurcation diagrams. They're very commonly used to um, summarize the behavior that uh, a particular model, a differential equation, or an iterated function can do. Um, very common device in dynamical systems, studying all sorts of different dynamical systems, not just differential equations. We'll see bifurcation diagrams again in the next unit, which was about bifurcation diagrams for the logistic uh, equation as an iterated function. In uh, the next video in this unit, we'll leave bifurcation diagrams for a moment and sort of focus on the bifurcations themselves, what's going on when we have these sudden transitions from one type of behavior to another.